the best. Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I'm proud to present our Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cab. This has got the, the Cummins turbo diesel in it with the ASN automatic, and uh, the truck is in concourse condition, museum quality concourse condition. We judge a lot of bikes at the shows, and uh, we do a lot of museum quality stuff, and um, I promise you, you will not find a cleaner Ram 3500 anywhere, not even on a dealer showroom floor. Um, let me read you the spec sheet on this and stick with me. There's a, there's a lot to tell you about this truck. There's a lot of extras on this that you're not going to get off the lot that had to be special ordered. Uh, to start with, it's a 2014 model. Uh, the sticker price on it was $71,715. Out the door it was around $75,000 with tax and, and uh, dealer fees and whatnot. And I also have a Boss 9.5 foot plow. You can see this driveway here um, is a paver driveway. I've got two plows. I have the yellow one over there that was for my other truck, which uh, I used most of the time to plow. Then I've got this Boss GXT, brand new stainless steel 9.5 foot plow. I have the receipt. I'll show you. I paid $7,500 for that. That's got a lot of extras that go with it. That plow has never touched the ground. It was on uh, skis on the pavers, an inch off the pavers, so it's virtually brand new. Nicer than anything you'll even find in the dealer showroom because it's been stored indoors. Most of the ones I see at the dealer, they leave them outside and they're all rusty. That thing's perfect. It came off the truck, came right into my garage. Same thing with this truck. When this truck came in, I did not allow the dealer to prep it. I told them I want it exactly the way it is. I don't want a couple of $10, $12 an hour guys touching my truck. So I had the guys at our museum who do the motorcycle detailing. Uh, we did it ourselves. Um, four times since the truck was brand new, it's been clay barred and waxed with the Carnuba paste wax. The paint is so smooth on this thing, it's like glass. Each time, if you, if you paid a shop to do that, it's probably $300 if you could even find someone to do it the way we do it. The truck's in absolutely pristine original condition. It has a, not only the window sticker, but it has the original um, factory plastic on the floor. The factory plastic on both all the door sill plates has never been taken off. The, the plastic on the door handles, even the tags on the seats. This is exactly the way it came from the dealer. If you look right here closely in the door jams, it has the um, still has a, when we do concourse restorations, we make sure that, that uh, the hashtags from the factory, the inspection uh, parts are put, uh, uh, marks are put back on it. All the original inspection marks on this truck are, are still on it. I didn't take any of them off. We waxed around those, left those on. Truck is absolutely pristine, top to bottom, the engine. There's never been anything in the bed on the truck. And it also has the optional Ram 25,000 pound fifth wheel hitch with the setup inside the bed that I'll show you that's pretty awesome. That's never seen the light of day. That's brand new. Um, going over the spec sheet on the truck, of course it's a Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Mega Cab 4x4. Um, this one is bright white clear coat, exterior paint with a canyon brown, light frost beige interior, premium leather bucket seats, 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel with exhaust brake, which is awesome. It has a couple different modes. Also it was ordered with the ASN heavy duty six speed automatic transmission. That's a $3,000 option. It works absolutely amazing. This is my second brand new Ram. I bought one brand new in 13 and then I, there were some things I wanted to change on the 13 and I ordered the 14. Uh, with, with every single option you can possibly get. There is not another option you can order. I even ordered the smoker's kit. No one's ever smoked in this. Matter of fact, I haven't even let my kids sit in the truck. Um, no, one's, no one's ever smoked or eaten or anything inside this interior. It's absolutely perfect. But there is a smoker's, uh, uh, I just wanna make sure I ordered every single option on it and I ordered the best options because uh, there are different things you can do on these. It actually costs more for the monotone paint than the two-tone, that's actually an option. So this truck has an advanced multi-stage front airbags, supplement, su supplemental front seat mounted side airbags, supplemental side curtain front and rear airbags, the park view rear backup camera has two cameras special order with a park sense rear park assist system, anti-lock four wheel disc brakes, has electronic stability control, anti-spin differential rear axle, special order with the 410 gear set which is perfect. I went on the Cummins website. These are optimized at around 2100 RPM. It's set up to, to hit 2100 RPM at around 78 miles an hour. So it's just perfect. The uh, um, trailer brake control is built in. It has remote keyless entry with all secure. It has a sentry key theft deterrent system. Uh, of course, it has cruise control. It's got electric start. Um, it has uh, power door locks, uh, automatic headlamps, remote start, bi-function projector headlamps in chrome. Uh, it also has the premium LED tail lamps, power front windows with one touch up and down feature, uh, remote start, which I just demonstrated. The interior is by far the best interior in the business. Nobody makes an interior like, like Ram. 
I bought this truck because in 2013 it was completely redesigned. Um, it was this or the Ford. The Ford, uh, the interior is not quite as nice as the Ram, but the main reason I bought this was for the Cummins engine. This engine's been around a long time. It's a real truck motor. This is not something made by Ford or, or, or whoever. This is an actual Cummins, like the big trucks, uh, six cylinder. So um, the uh, interior has air conditioning, automatic temperature control, dual zone control. You connect 8.4 AN, uh, AN with AM, FM, Bluetooth access and navigation, which is fantastic. Sirius satellite radio. Um, it also has integrated voice command with Bluetooth, premium navigation, huge screen, it's massive. Nine amplified speakers. It's an Alpine subwoofer system from the factory. It's all Alpine. Premium navigation, nine amplified speakers, Alpine speakers with the subwoofer. It has a media hub for SD, USB, and auxiliary cards. Power 10-way driver's seat with memory. Um, and power six-way passenger seat. Heated front seats, heated second row seats, remote USB port. Uh, ventilated front seats, it even has air conditioning in the seats, and it has memory for the radio, the driver's seat, the mirrors, and the pedals. Um, the power adjustable pedals of memory, uh, heated steering wheel. The heating steering wheel is awesome in the, in the wintertime. I ordered it special with a DOT certified roadside safety kit. Let me show you, show you this. Oh, it's not. Let me show you this thing. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, the uh, DOT roadside safety kit has never been out of the bag. It's a $150 option. It's got the Ram logo on it. It's um, pretty cool. It's got everything you need if, if uh, one of your friends breaks down, because you know this thing's not going to break down. It's got the flares, the flags, the, the, the uh, uh, roadside safety, and, and uh, everything else uh, you need if, if you're in a situation. So that's a $150 option. It fits nicely underneath the seat. Um, and the seat is, there's tons of room. The seats actually recline in the rear. The rear seats are heated also. Um, this truck was special ordered with the uh, protection group, the cold weather group, which includes a, a, a leather cover for the front of the of the uh, truck. In the winter, it comes with an engine block heater and a, uh, the, the winter front grill cover. Um, I also special ordered it with a heavy duty snow plow prep group. You will not find a better plow or tow truck than this anywhere, um, unless you ordered one exactly like this. And this took almost six months to come in. It, uh, when you special order a truck like this, it takes forever. Um, the, uh, it's got the heavy duty snow plow prep group, uh, 220 amp alternator. The, the, the heavy duty snow plow prep group also comes with a transfer case skid plate shield. And also um, the next most important option I ordered was the fifth wheel gooseneck towing prep group. Let me show you what that is. That's just awesome. Uh, this is one of the reasons I bought this truck. This truck has never had a gooseneck trailer hooked to it. It's, it's brand new, this hitch. Um, if you look at it, there's not a scratch on it. It's been waxed several times, and I was going to get a big gooseneck for it, but I need. we're selling this to raise funds to finish the museum. Look at that hitch. That thing is just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. That's a, um, I have the receipt. It was $2,900 mounted plus the $400. Check this out. This is the um, it bed mounted uh, power connector, and it, uh, factory bed liner. Just amazing. Uh, how, how nice the inside of the beds are. This is all the literature I have on the truck. I'll go over all that with you in a second. The tonneau cover is super easy to open. Um, the uh, truck also it was $525 option for the monotone paint, the super clean. Normally they're a two tone, like a brown or a gold on the bottom. It's $525 option. I, I special ordered it like that. Um, uh, the uh, chrome tubular side steps, dual, dual rear wheel fender flare tracking. A chrome front bumper, chrome rear bumper, the smokers group, which is a $60 option. That trifold tonneau cover is a $500 option. Um, they don't give those away. And the ASN heavy duty six speed automatic transmission was $2,795. Special ordered with the 410 rear axle ratio. And of course, the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel with exhaust brake comes with a hunt. The, the, the Cummins diesel is an $8,000 option, um, 180 amp alternator has a Ram Active Air. That Ram Active Air is a system that when it's raining out, um, it, it, it only draws, uh, it's raining or snowing, it only draws air from inside the uh, engine compartment. But if it's uh, clear, like a day like today, it draws from the bottom up in the front here. It's like a Ram Air, like back in the days where they had Ram Air back in the 70s. So it, it's, it, uh, it's a pretty cool system. Um, that was something brand new for 2013. Um, the um, Truck has a rear window defroster that was $150 off option. It has the power sunroof that was $995. Check this out. Um, if it's a really bright day and you want it nice and 
uh, dark in here, you can keep it closed, but if you open that up, you get all the sunlight in the world in there, and the sunroof is one touch. It opens this way or it slides back as far as you, you want it open or not. Um, it also has a power sliding rear window. Show them the rear window, Kenny. Power sliding rear window with defroster. The, um, the truck, uh, um, the rear window defroster is a $150 option. The uh, keyless enter and go uh, is a $150 option. So I can lock this truck and let's say your hands are full and you're coming out to the truck, you don't even you don't even have to, it, it automatically recognizes you have the key and it opens for you, which is pretty cool. Chrome handles, chrome door locks, um, the uh, instrument panel mounted auxiliary switches. Let me show you those. This was a $130 option. See these switches right here? These are five auxiliary switches. Uh, none of them are hooked to anything right now, but you can hook them to, to exterior lights, to um, all kinds of... Uh, 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 power options, anything you can possibly dream of. You've got five auxiliary connectors built right in the dash. Also has a built-in uh, AC, uh, 110 volt, um, and it has a built-in USB charger, um, and of course the cigarette lighters and the, and the, the 12 volt outlets. Very, very, very nice. The, uh, um, the truck uh, also has a center high mount stop lamp with camera. So if you look at the, uh, the stop lamp on the back right here, this camera right here, um, that's 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 looks it looks different than the standard one. It has like it's all LEDs. It's black and chrome. Beautiful, super bright at night. It lights up the whole back of the truck. And there's a camera in there that when you're backing up your fifth wheel, you don't have to get out of the truck. You can back right up. That camera watches your fifth wheel, so it guides it right in. And it also has that was special order that way from the factory. And it also has a a, a, a backup camera right here. So th this one displays in the rearview mirror. That one displays in the big screen on the dash. So you got two cameras, which is pretty sick. Uh, Ram set the standard with that system for sure. And uh, I know Ford and everybody's trying to copy it uh, or one up them, but that, 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 is, that is the standard that uh, they were judged by when that came out. Um, also, I also ordered it with a single disc remote CD player. That was a $200 option, the CD player. Never used it, never been a CD in it. Um, the, the tires that are on it, show them the tires, Kenny. LT23580 R17E, out, outlined white letter tires. These were a uh, $200 option, and the dual rear wheel package gives you the 17 inch by six inch premium aluminum wheels. These are Alcoas, these aren't cheap knockoffs or chrome ones. These are, these are million mile <coughs> wheels, and this is a, a million mile motor in this truck. This is a, like just like the over the road, big, big, big rigs. Um, the uh, clearance lamps also come, these come as part of the dual rear wheel package, and those are all LED lights. So the uh, bottom line was $71,715. One of the things I want to point out, these mirrors, also flip down like this so if you're going around town and you, or if you and you want a little more uh less uh less less uh obtrusive look you can do that i like them up like this because you can see everything um the badges the laramie longhorn badges are amazing again the truck's been clay barred and waxed um several times by my team it's absolutely immaculate top to bottom the tires are, are in brand new condition as are the rims there's, the, the truck is absolutely spotless, and you can see inside of the bed, there's never been anything in the bed, ever. I put a pair of shoes in here, that was it. So, um, I have all the literature from, from the factory. Uh, this is the when this truck first came out, and I was trying to figure out which one to buy. I actually flew to um, the Detroit Auto Show and compared the, the new Ram to all the other trucks. I fell in love with it. This is a 2013 one, <coughs> all new frame, transmission, suspension, and interior. I bought a brand new 13. And here's a shootout between the Ford and the Ram. The Ram blew every everything else out of the water. Um, here's the 2014 exterior paint color guide. Uh, all the factory brochures. I got the 2014 factory brochures. Um, I also printed off for your uh, comparison the um, NADA guides. The actual uh, retail value of the truck uh, was 59.6, and then if you add on the fifth wheel hitch and the 100,000 mile extended warranty that I, that I put on the truck. This is good for 100,000 miles in seven, uh, seven years. The, the retail value is $62,942. That's a, a fraction of what I've got into the truck. Again, the truck was um, $75,000 out the door. And then I added on the, the plow to it, which was 7,500. So I've got, um, that's 82,500. Then with taxes and uh, all the, 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 uh, the, the wax jobs and everything, there's, there's $85,000 tied up in this truck. I've got it. It's paid in full. Again, I have the title right here. It's only being sold to uh, have clean title in hand. It's only being sold to uh, um, 
pay for the museum restorations. You check us out online, New England Motorcycle Museum. We're, we're about $300,000 short. Uh, this truck has been used primarily for parades and also it's, I've taken it to, to Daytona once and to Virginia another time for a couple of big shows. But it's been mostly a promotion piece for the museum. because we, uh, we towed a 20-foot Featherlight aluminum matching trailer with six show bikes in it. This is the 60-month, 100,000-mile extended warranty paperwork. Um, this is an expensive option. Uh, and here's the VIP summary report. And then every piece of paperwork that came from the, the truck from the factory, this is stuff that you normally use if you let the kids that work there deal with the truck. I saved everything. All the inspection, the, this actual uh, color right here, the little marks are exactly the inspection marks that are all over the truck um, that I haven't taken off and all the door jams and everything. Um, so everything you'd ever get if you bought a truck and you stepped in like I did and didn't let it disappear. Um, here's a Sirius satellite radio. This is the fifth, fifth wheel hitch installation structures. This is a Ram M25 Mopar. It's a factory Ram hitch factory accessory. Um, just a fantastic piece of equipment. Uh, here's my receipt, $2,970. For that item um, mounted, and here's my paperwork from the dealer: seventy-four thousand five hundred and thirty-nine dollars, right here. It was the bottom line price on the truck out the door. Um, and here's the release paperwork from the bank I financed it from. I did finance the truck, uh, but we, we paid it off because we knew we were going to sell it and wanted to have the title in hand, so we went down and paid it off. Um, so that pretty much explains that. Uh, also, I have brand new in the box check this out a brand new set of WeatherTech floor mats the floor mats that are in this truck are like $600 set of floor mats they're the Laramie Longhorn horn mats if you're going to actually use this truck um, these are the digital uh, floor liner laser measured for a perfect fit they're $190 the WeatherTechs uh, they haven't been put in the truck yet I had the front one in when I bought it to the dealer for its uh, first service it wasn't due yet, it wasn't due until 10,000 miles, but I bought it in at 7,000, had the oil changed. There were a couple of flash EPROM updates they wanted to do on it, and uh, they gave the truck a once over, changed the oil on it, wasn't even due. Um, and uh, I, had, I put the floor mats in so they wouldn't get it dirty. Uh, this is the odometer disclosure statement on the truck, showing that it had uh, eight miles on it when I picked it up, all factory miles. The, the, the lean release paperwork, everything's in order. Check our feedback where we, we uh, make our living selling used motorcycles on eBay and parts. And we have a 99.9% .9 feedback rating after 5,000 sales. So you can trust this is truck is trust is exactly what I say it is. This is the literature for the, the boss plow. Um, I saved everything. Uh, we've got the, the, the uh, actual invoice for the plow. It was um, $65.84 for the plow with the options, $500 for labor to install. It was $7,534 for the plow. You don't have to buy the plow. If you want to buy the truck and you don't want the plow, I'll take the plow off the truck and reduce the, the price on it. Or if you don't want the hitch, I can take the hitch off the truck and, and reduce the price even further. Um, I have a, another truck I can use the plow and the hitch on it if you don't want it. So no problem at all. But it's all set up, ready to go. Never been used. The plow's brand new condition. It's been up and down my driveway a few times just to try it out. The hitch is never, look at that, it's never been hooked up, ever. Um, this is the manual for the for the plow. They do a real nice job. It's like factory manual, leather bound. Um, and here's the, the nine, point, nine foot two inch stainless steel DXT plow. Undeniably the standard that all our other plows are, are judged by as far as fit and finish. And it just looks cool too. I mean, look at that thing. So you want to be badass and have the baddest ass truck in your state, buy this one with that plow. If you want the best truck that's going to last you a lifetime, buy this truck. If you want to buy a truck where you're going to save $20,000 off of what I have invested into it, buy this truck. You can't go wrong. Um, this has been in my, in my garage, in my house right here. It's never been set out in the rain. Um, no one's ever drive the truck but me. No one's even sat in the back seats. It, the thing is, is, is absolutely pristine. So um, let me close the cover up here and I'll show you around the best part of the truck. I probably should have showed you this first is the engine. 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel, 385 horsepower, 850 foot pound of torque. Um, I have towed off the bumper hitch and I'll tell you straight up, you have to look in your camera to make sure the trailer is still there going on the road because you can't feel it. This thing is a monster. Big part of that is the dual rear wheels. I don't care what anybody says, single rear wheel, not even close to towing 
what, 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 what with the dual rear wheel, especially when you get a 24 foot trailer on the back and you get some wind, this thing doesn't move. Why do you think tractor trailers have dual rear wheels? And look at the wheels, they're Alcoas, same thing they put on the tractor trailers. Um, got a nice American flag sticker on there. Uh, about, about as American of a truck as you could possibly get. We bought the best diesel dually in the world. What's the best compliment to that? Well, if you have a paver driveway or a big driver like I do, how about the best plow ever made? This is the Boss Power V DXT 9 foot 2 inch top of the line stainless DXT plow loaded with all the options. Just a fantastic uh, lifelong quality on this plow. Uh, Boss has been making these V plows for 25 years and they're built Iron Mountain tough. For the Boss, it all starts in Iron Mountain, Michigan. We're designing, innovating, and manufacturing world-class snow and ice removal equipment is what we're all about. Developing the tools that make snow plow professionals jobs easier and more efficient is our ultimate goal. It's been that way for over 25 years. They're not building any plow, they're building your plow. A couple of features about this thing, stainless, it'll never rust. Um, again, this is nicer than most of the ones you're gonna see at the dealership. I have another plow that I use and a plow for my, my Bobcat. Um, so this thing was only used a couple times just to try it out. With the V plow, it's awesome. You can, you can uh, tilt it to the right, you can tilt it to the left, you can keep it in a V and go straight forward. You can scoop it and uh, it's almost like having a Bobcat bucket. You can put the snow anywhere you want. It's pretty awesome. Um, it has a smart light too. Uh, plow professionals rave about the dual burn smart light 2 system. It makes it easier to see wider, farther, and more consistency on the darkest, nasty of, of nights. Uh, again, this is a $7,500 plow mounted with all the options that we have. Um, it also comes with a Boss Smart Touch 2 controller. Um, this will do the uh, V function, uh, left, right, scoop right, scoop left, double scoop. It'll float. Uh, it's uh, really easy to control. That increases your efficiency. Snow, snow plow pros like to utilize the high-tech ergonomic smart touch 2 controller featuring large backlit buttons for ease of use even during the longest and toughest jobs. That's actually lit. My other one has a Fisher plower. It's not nearly as nice as that. Uh, Boss is built to last. Pros want their plow to look good and their investment to last. So we treat every plow with our exclusive smart shield, powder coated finish to deliver super superior corrosion protection and a long lasting high gloss shine. You can see it shines like brand new. And uh, of course, the stainless steel will never rust. Um, it's also, uh, when the work is done, the Boss easily detaches and leaves your truck's undercarriage clean and free for equipment. You have the Boss logo on the front of the plow. It looks bitchin' with the black frame and the white Boss. It looks like it belongs on, on, the, on the diesel dually. So your truck is primed and ready for another day on the road. Again, if you don't want this plow, I'll keep this and put it on, on my, my other truck. Um, so 25 years, Boss has been making these plows. The DXT stainless steel is nine foot two inch. Um, it's a B plow workhouse workhorse from, from Boss. It's a tough dual trip design, provides enhanced plow and vehicle protection with stress and hidden obstacles like manhole covers and frozen snow banks. This thing's never stri strike, stricken anything because it's been on the skis. Come around the back here, Kenny, show them the, the skis. This is an optional kit. When you're doing a paver driveway, it's set up so that the uh, bottom of the plow is an inch off the paver so you don't damage the bricks. It just slides along like a ski. So this plow has never really uh, ever tripped on anything, uh, nor has it bounced off any curves. It's only been used in my driveway. This truck has not been driven in the winter ever. Uh, I've only driven around my driveway. I, I don't use it if it's raining or snowing or anything. Um, so it's, it's an absolute virgin. The full family of Boss DXTs is quite simply the, the most fully featured V plow the Boss has ever produced. And believe me, I did my research. I compared this against every other plow on the market and I chose the Boss for these reasons. What separates the DXT from other V plows is a dual trip design, which combines both trip edge and full moldboard trip features to deliver enhanced plow and vehicle protection when striking a hidden obstacle in any position, V, scoop, or straight. The DXT features flared wings with an enhanced curl to throw snow with maximum efficiency. And with its multi-position multi frame, the DXT can quickly and easily switch positions to move large amounts of snow. And the, with the big scoop on it, it just shoots snow like kind of like a state plow. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, again, we got the uh, uh, receipt to it right here. Uh, shows the um, labor for mounting and setting the thing up for $500. The DXT shoe kit was $190. Uh, the turn signal relay was $44.95. The light adapter hookup was $47. A 9 foot 2 inch uh, plow and the uh, uh, Power V control kit. And the mount for the, the Dodge came to $7,084 plus tax was $7,534 out the door. Uh, we also bought 
Uh, additionally, um, after the fact, when we stored it for the winter, I wanted to be able to roll it around. So I bought from Boss this mount kit. Check this out. This, um, this goes where the skis are on the bottom and this wheels. And you keep it in the V formation. You can push it around your garage by yourself, anywhere you want to put it. Um, so it's got four of these wheels. Um, also, it came with a, the really nice, uh, well done Boss um, snow plow manual here. Uh, this is the owner's manual for the Power V and plow. And uh, you can see it's spotless. No one's ever touched it with greasy hands or anything. And it also comes with, I've never even opened it, an operation and maintenance DVD for the Power V and straight, straight blade snow plows. It's got a DVD, shows you how to use it. And it's got all the um, <coughs> mounting and structures and, and, and factory uh, literature right there. So there you have it. Uh, plows, absolute virgin, brand new condition. If you don't want the plow, that's fine. If you do want the plow, I'll sell it to you for thousands less than I've got into it. Um, and it, it'll be a win-win for everybody. Hope it goes to the good home. Good luck bidding on the package. Call me if you have any questions. If you don't want the hitch. Oh, one last thing. Speaking of hitches, this truck comes with a Titan Class 5 bumper pull hitch. I think it's rated for 14,000 pounds. I have to check the manual. So you have the Titan Class 5 hitch, and also you've got the fifth wheel hitch in the back. And uh, stay focused on that. Let me grab the other piece. This is the um, this is a new adapter that comes with the truck to switch from uh, the Titan Class 5 to a regular bumper pull. So you've, you can do the regular class three, you can do the uh, class five bumper pull, you can do the pintle hitch. And also, I, I ordered the truck, I forgot to show you, um, there's, it's, it's underneath the seat, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a um, not only do you have the fifth wheel, but it, it's a pintle hitch ball. So you have all four kind of hitches. Everything's all set up. It's a factory pintle hitch, and it, it, uh, it's a quick fit. You take off the fifth wheel and it slides right into the the hole underneath the fifth wheel is set up from the factory with that. That was an option. So you have fifth wheel, pintle hitch right from the factory, top of the shelf stuff, class five Titan or class three. There, there, there is no other type of towing that you can do with a pickup to my knowledge. And of course, you've got the powerful Cummins engine, so it'll pull anything. Um, this is uh, all American Cummins turbo diesel. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this. Perfection. It doesn't get any better than this. I love this motor. 6.7 turbo diesel. The, the thing is brand new oil. The engine is absolutely immaculate. This is a show truck. This is something you could take to SEMA the way it is. And uh, no one's going to have a cleaner truck than you. Um, it's beautiful. Dual batteries. Um, everything's 100% heavy duty. Huge radiator. And look at the, look at the plow frame on the front of this thing. Um, it says the boss on it and it cut, in my opinion, it kind of makes the front of the truck. Look at that. Stand back here, Kenny. It kind of makes the front of the truck look a little beefier, you know? Um, also I have this custom logo on here, Rockville. Uh, the museum's in Rockville, so I put the Rockville construction logo on there. We're, we're restoring the mill. Uh, if you want that logo taken off, I can take that off. It's no problem. It's just a decal. But uh, I think it looks really cool and kind of goes with the truck rock though. You know, it just sounds tough. Um, so beautiful paint job, beautiful truck. Let me show you the interior on the driver's side, which is absolutely stunning. Again, we got the step, so it's nice and easy to get in. I'm 51 years old. I don't have to hurt my back jumping up in. Still has the um, the, uh, the, the sil, sil uh, plastic on it, um, which is underneath here. Look at this. Brand new, baby. Never seen the light of day. Uh, still has the plastic on the on the door handles. Um, the truck, just spectacular. Uh, shift on the fly, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or, or four-wheel drive low. Tilt wheel. Super loud horn, like you'd expect in a truck. And check this out, on the dash, it has a, uh, you can set it, so for this setting right here, it shows you the exhaust turbo. The one on the left, shows you how many horsepower the exhaust brake is retarding and the one on the right shows you how many psi your boost is um, it has a tachometer uh, diesel injection fluid gauge fuel, uh, temperature gauge um, the uh, oil pressure gauge and of course your speedometer and your you have two fuel gauges one over here and one in the uh, in the dash and this is all changeable it's all computer controlled you just hit the button it goes to the speedometer uh, you can uh, enter setup, change things, you can check your email on it. Uh, you can put it on radio. 
uh, so you can see what channel you're on. Nine speaker subwoofer, subwoofer, Alpine, factory, top shelf. One touch on the uh, rear view, I mean the, the rear window. You hit this button right here, the, the uh, rear sliding window opens. Okay, let me go back there and show them. And the uh, sunroof, one button on the sun, hit the sunroof. Look at that. Living lavish. This is like, like in a convertible almost when you open up all the windows. It's awesome, you know. Um, of course, lighted, uh, lighted uh, mirrors. Um, there's nothing finer. I mean, the interior on this, if you don't look and see that you're in a big diesel dually truck, you feel like you're inside of a, of a limo. You know, it feels like a limo because the, the rear seat is so huge on this thing. The seats are, are really cool too. Um, seven way adjustable seats or 10, ten way on the driver, six way on the passenger. They recline all the way. <laughs> and look at the floor mats. They're really high end floor mats. Um, no one's ever been in here with dirty feet or anything. And uh, I have a set of WeatherTech mats that go on top of this. Um, it's it's loaded. The uh, the um, you can adjust the stereo from the controls on the on your uh, on your uh, hand controls. You can do volume and and the uh, um, you, can, you can do volume and channel. Uh, and then if you keep going, you can see uh, you have a trailer set up here. You can put it on a trailer, and it'll tell you. Uh, whether whether you have a fifth wheel or a bumper pull trailer and what your gain is on the um on the trailer brake see this uh, you can adjust the gain so that uh um, it goes from one to ten and uh, you can you can actually this trailer brake controller right here is built in look at this no cheesy aftermarket stuff here this is factory oem uh dot certified top of top of the line stuff and it also has a neutral if you want to hit a neutral uh, on your transfer case and tow it behind a, 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 an RV or something, you can do that. Um, again, uh, all kinds of computer controlled stuff here. Distance, average mile per hour, uh, elapsed time, um, the distance uh, since, uh, oh, and your fuel mileage, um, exhaust turbo. I like leaving it on the exhaust turbo because I don't know why I really like that one. But uh, just a fantastic truck. On the back of the, in the on the passengers in the back, my, um, let me show you something. The uh, these seats recline, unlike most most uh, um, trucks. Um, let's see. I've only done this once or twice. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. What am I doing? Oh yeah. This this one has it come forward like this, and it goes flat. And now it'll go to a flat too, and it's almost like a sleeper. You could put a mattress on here and sleep in it, like in the back of a big rig. Then it's got a storage box in the back here. Check this out. Um, can you see that, Kenny? It's got a, a storage compartment in the back, and uh, um, it, it has two of them, one, uh, on, one on the other side also. But these these uh, seats also recline. Oh, there it is. You got to push it. See how how much it reclines? It's almost like a like a like a limo back here. There's so much leg room. Um, and let me show them around the other side too. Again, your door jams. Uh, you've got your factory um, from the factory uh, plastic still on it. Absolutely immaculate condition. You've got your factory. Look at this, your factory inspection marks are still on there. Um, that, that comes off with a fingertip, you can take that off. Uh, we worked around that, so. Um, tinted windows on the back of the truck. Your vehicle uh, noise and emission control information sticker looks brand new. Um, come around this side here, I'll show you the other side of the truck. So short of special order on yourself, a brand new one and waiting six months for it, this is about as close as you're gonna get to a concourse brand new truck. This, look at this. Look at how nice that is. Let me show you a few other things. Back here, this is your winter uh, ram uh, protection for the front of the truck. On a cold days, you put this over your bumper grill and you keep the engine from getting any salt or snow into it. Then here's some uh, chassis uh, um, auxiliary for other types of trailers. Uh, just a fantastic setup. Again, this side reclines also. You push this button and the whole thing reclines like that. And additionally, you've got a flip down in the center here for your cups. And uh, let me get out of the way so you can show them the, uh, um, the uh, uh, floor mats and uh, the quality of the seats. These flip up right here. 
just beautiful. Everything's the way it came out of the factory. Still has this, the uh, factory um, tags on it. So uh, again, you're not gonna find a nicer uh, Ram anywhere in the country. This has got every option you could possibly get. It takes a while to order them like this. One thing I wanna add too is these are delivered by rail to, to the dealer and both the trucks that I got um, when they when it's on the rail car, they get little pieces of uh, of, um, of uh, metal comes off the brakes on the on the on the wheels, and it, and it hits the sides of, of the trucks. So um, if if it's not handled properly, the truck gets scratched. We we, we use the clay bar method and uh, hot water and, and everything. You know this truck was handled by pros. The, uh, the when it came to me, it still had the the, the uh, when it came to our shop, it still had the uh, plastic on it on the hood. Fenders. I told them, don't even touch the truck. Just take it off the lift and, and step away from it. Don't test drive it. Don't let anybody wash it. Just, just leave it alone. So we handled everything on it, and uh, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. I hate to see it go again. We're, we need the, the money to finish the museum. Uh, we've already borrowed four million dollars. Check us out online, the New England Motorcycle Museum. We borrowed four million, and uh, we got it 90% done, and we're a few hundred thousand dollars away from finishing it. So we're selling some of our beautiful assets I hate to see it go but hopefully it goes to a good home if you have any questions about the truck give me a call 860-454-7024 at the shop six days a week Monday through Friday 9 to 6 East Coast time uh, if you want the, the truck shipped we can help you arrange shipping if you want to come pick it up great if you want it with the plow and the hitch well I'll give you a great it'll be an awesome value a lot less than you could buy one for new or if you don't want the plow and hitch that's fine too I can use them on one of my other trucks so um, Good luck bidding on the truck. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. God bless America.